Robots are already helping cook food, do construction work, clean homes, and more. In the future, they'll take over additional tasks, but which ones? At this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, a variety of humanoids and other robots were on display. Some of them were silly, some ingenious, some a bit creepy. Not all of these will end up being widely used, but some are pretty cool. Let's check them out. Number 9. Parky Evar's Parky robot was made to help electric vehicle owners get their car's batteries recharged faster and with less hassle. As EV adoption grows, tools like Parky could become helpful as drivers try to navigate an as-yet slim charging infrastructure. Rather than having to park at a charging bay, drivers can park anywhere in a lot and have Parky come to them. The bot provides 15 kilowatt DC charging per hour, juicing vehicles up with about 50 miles of range. The catch is that drivers still have to find a spot next to an EV robot connector and plug in. So depending on supply-demand ratios, Parky may not make much of a difference in terms of convenience and speed. The robot makes the most sense for buildings that want to make their parking lots more EV-friendly without undertaking construction or redesign work or having to add electric capacity. Number 8. L-Robot Japanese agritech startup Agrists, simply named L-Robot, can identify and pick harvest-ready bell peppers with millimeter precision and through thickly layered leaves. A robot like this could not be just handy, but necessary if the current agricultural worker shortage continues. L uses cameras and an AI algorithm to identify a pepper's position, size, maturity, and clipping point. It moves along suspension wires that need to be pre-installed and can then approach a plant, find a target pepper, clip it off, and then fold to drop it into a collection box. L can also forecast harvest volume and collect data about crops, such as the number of days left to reach maturity. Agra says L costs less than $10,000 as compared to an average $73,000 for conventional automatic harvesting robots. The robot could likely be trained to harvest a variety of fruits and vegetables. Number 7. Autobot Autonomy wants to reduce the cost of deliveries by 50% with its Autobot delivery robot. The tricked-out box on wheels is about 4.5 feet tall, 4 feet long, and 2.5 feet wide, and weighs 200 pounds. It won't win any races with a max speed of 4 miles per hour. That's equivalent to the pace of an average adult walks. But depending where it's coming from, its speed may not be all that important. The bot can do autonomous deliveries, where a door opens and a box is deposited on the ground, or attended deliveries, customer gets a text telling him the robot is there and a QR code to open the compartment. There's a smaller compartment for things like wine bottles or other liquids, and a larger one that could hold groceries or food deliveries. The robot is customizable and modular, so customers can tailor its structure and compartments to their specific needs. It runs on a swappable battery and navigates autonomously through its environment. Number 6. Exact Shot In keeping with the agricultural theme, John Deere brought a highly functional farming tool to the show. The company says it's Exact Shot Robotic Planter can reduce the number of starter fertilizer farmers used by more than 60%. It uses sensors to place starter fertilizer straight onto individual seeds as they're planted rather than blindly spraying fertilizer over the entire row of seeds. Across the U.S. corn crop alone, the company says Exact Shot could save over 93 million gallons of starter fertilizer annually, which would also prevent excess fertilizer from causing weeds to grow or leaching into local waterways. Number 5. Highbot Highbot, a robot from Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, and Hills Robots, is a self-driving guide robot that can be used in various scenarios, from conferences to hospitals. It distinguishes itself by the 360-degree omnidirectional stereoscopic hologram on top of its head, allowing for immersive face-to-face -face meetings. Highbot is robotic guide meant to roll around and assist people in museums, hospitals, and convention centers. Beyond interacting with the public, Highbot also has a built-in air purifier and aroma diffuser, and it clearly looks good in a cat costume. Number 4. Miko Mini Need to keep your children engaged? We have it sorted. Miko Mini is an interactive robot intended to keep children engaged. Children can play freeze dance, learn arithmetic, or do yoga with the help of a talking companion, while parents check in from a paired app. Miko needs a smartphone to communicate with the user. It comes equipped with facial recognition and can see, hear, remember, and sense a child's mood, according to the company. Miko is your child's new companion, a brain with loads of heart. You will be amazed with how much Miko can do, be it chatting away about the facts of the world or adapting and responding to your child's needs. 
Miko has a wide pool of knowledge and an even wider pool of fun, proceed with caution. Number 3. iVolve Pro Robot CES also offered a robot for the sports industry. AI doesn't just help you track your fitness, it can help you improve it while having some fun. The iVolve Pro Robot was an honoree in the CES Fitness and Sports category. The robot looks like a tennis ball machine but claims to be much more. The robot uses AI and computer vision to shoot the ball dynamically and move across the court, simulating the experience of playing against another person. Number 2. EVE EVE from Halodi Robotics is being developed to do almost everything a human can. That's ambitious, yes, but Halodi is really pushing the envelope here as their mission is to bring the world's safest and most capable robot to the human world. And to accomplish this, they created EVE, a full-size humanoid robot unlike any other. The robot can be operated as an avatar via virtual reality. The EVE humanoid is a fully integrated platform that utilizes game-changing direct force control technology for natively compliant operation. This means you can send the robot in to do high-risk and dangerous jobs in place of a human while the human controls EVE remotely. EVE is a human-sized robot with a height of 182 centimeters and it weighs 86 kg. EVE operates silently with its 24 motors and 23 degrees of freedom. It can lift up to 8 kilograms per arm and navigates autonomously. It's also capable of autonomous door opening and elevator travel. EVE has 360 degree field of view for improved teleoperation, surveillance and autonomy. Expressive API permits users to interact directly with the whole body controller for tracking navigation and manipulation tasks. The guys at CES showed how EVE worked by standing in one room and performing tasks, while the robot mirrored those tasks in a different room. Number 1. Atom Rich Tech Robotics Atom has two arms with grip handles that can be customized to make various drinks. During CES, the bot was churning out bubble tea. Customers could choose a flavor on a touchscreen and the robot would mix the necessary ingredients, add ice and boba, seal the cup, then deposit it on the counter for the waiting customer. Adam can perform bartending or barista duties as well. One thing Adam may want to work on though is speed. Some at CES stood in line to get a robotic bubble tea for about 5 minutes. Adam will be your office's favorite staff member by a long shot. He can work as a barista, a cocktail mixing bartender or a boba tea specialist. The company behind Adam says he can make your drinks to perfection, leaving no room for error. Adam isn't just an awesome attraction that will draw attention to your business. Adam is an efficient and reliable worker that can produce at unprecedented levels with a 24-7 runtime and a maximum speed of 3 feet per second. So unlike your local barista, Adam will never burn your morning brew. That's all for this video. See you next time.